Okay, ladies, we're going to have a great ride today. Nobody's going to get hurt. We're going to inspire a ton of women today. Maybe a few men, but we're all going to have a good ride. We're going to be safe. We're going to take it seriously when we're riding. And we're going to stay shiny side up. Good? Cool. Right on. Woo! Woo! I was born and raised in like Ohio, New Hampshire, back and forth, and <clears throat> it was cold there. And I always liked to be someplace warm. And uh, so I moved to California when I was about 15, and um, eventually made it to Hawaii, <clears throat> where it's really warm. And there's coconut trees and and uh, sun and the beach, and that's what I like: heat. So I moved here because it's warm. I'm a mother of four, married. I have a stepdaughter and three children, all very active, beautiful children. We are a close family. I uh, roll derby. I ride dirt bike uh, pretty often. And um, I work as a massage therapist at one of the top spas here on Kauai. I've been to many places, seen many things, and lived a pretty crazy life. <laughs> I'm from Keikaha, on the island of Kauai. I've lived here with my husband of 17 years and my twin daughters who are 15 years old. We've lived here eight years. I moved here from Oahu with my family, but originally I was born and raised in Texas and got blessed to years ago move to the islands and marry a local boy and have twin daughters. from California originally. I've been living here on the island for about a year and a half. I'm a massage therapist. I do a lot of therapeutic massage, a lot of injury work type massage. I'm a personal trainer. I have an all-girl band called Rock Candy, so it's really crazy fun. A bunch of girls rock out and play at different places on the island. I always wanted to ride a motorcycle because Janis Joplin rode a motorcycle and she was like really cool and I always thought I'd have a motorcycle just like Janis. And um, about six years ago I bought myself a Harley Davidson off eBay, which is really cool. And none of my friends would teach me how to ride a motorcycle because I've had so many car accidents in my life and nobody wanted to take that responsibility. But one of my friends did tell me one down four up so um, I got on the bike and one down four up. and. The first ride was pretty good, the second one I crashed, and the third time I took a course at the military base on, on driving, and now I feel like a pretty good driver. I, I highly recommend a professional driving course for anybody, regardless of how long you've been riding a motorcycle. I started riding dirt bike probably about seven years ago uh, consistently, and then I ended up buying a, a Harley. I had a fat boy for a while. My husband actually bought his first. And then I would go and we'd ride with him for a little while, but um, I pretty much enjoy riding dirt bike. I've done a lot of the hare and hound races and, and I just love to ride Harley once in a while and get together with a group of women, which doesn't happen often. I'm usually one of the only girls too. Um, so it's really, this is a great experience to be with all these women who are real and humble and just uh, just a really positive experience. I enjoy this. When I was really young, I grew up with a mini bike and then progressed to three wheelers, quads, hung out with all my friends through high school, riding different, everybody rode everybody's bikes, rode my brother's bike, and then um, quit riding for years. And my husband and I got married and he bought this bike 
about five or six years ago. And I just recently, within the past year, got back on the bike and started riding again. The girls are growing up and older and just wanted to do, you know, get back to something that I knew. We have a quad that my girls and my husband and I go out and ride and hang out on. But for now, I'm sharing a bike with my husband with the dream of getting a fat boy low someday. I bought this about two years ago. I've always wanted a Harley. That was always my dream. I could never afford it at the time. So I had a Kawasaki 1000. That was my last bike before I had this. It was an old cop bike. And that was fun. It was real fast. But I was like, OK, I'm ready for a cruiser. And I really like Harley. So I'm just going to work really hard and get myself a Harley. It doesn't matter who you are, if you're a chick on a bike, you're hot, period. Bottom line, people are going to look and it's going to feel good because you're inspiring people like, wow, look at that. It's like, oh, yeah, that's just me. And, you know, you get your five seconds of fame right there, but you inspire somebody and that's pretty cool. Riding a bike makes me feel independent uh, and it makes me kind of get away from that motherly, always uh, responsible for certain things. This kind of lets you feel more free and bring you back in the day where you can be a little wild. <laughs> I love riding down the street on this big bike. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> it makes me feel, I don't know, it's like your cares and your worries kind of go away. I'm a surfer and I get that feeling out surfing, but it's, it's a feeling like on the bike. You get that feeling of freedom, the open road, the God's creation everywhere. Things that you take for granted when you drive by in your truck, you suddenly, when you're on a motorcycle, you don't take them for granted. You can see the beauty, you can feel everything around you closer. Um, when I'm riding down the street on my Harley, I just feel free. I, my mind just goes. It's like you're being on vacation, just cruising down the road. You forget all your troubles. And you're just carefree and enjoying just the elements that you're smelling the red dirt and the feeling the breeze and the ocean air. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling of freedom. I want all women to go out and ride a bike. Try it, ride a bike, rent it, just get on a bike and go and just feel the empowerment of 1200 cc's baby. <laughs> My wisdom that I would offer people is to Get yourself educated about the motorcycle and um, get out there and ride. Don't, as a woman, don't feel like you can't do it or you're too old or, you know, the young girls don't think you're too young to do it. Just, and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to have the biggest bike, the nicest bike. Just get out there and ride with what you can get and work up to something bigger and better. My message is anybody can any woman can ride a motorcycle don't let it intimidate you and you can work you know from a smaller bike and work your way up to a bigger bike when you get comfortable and you'll just love it as a woman i believe that um, you need to give yourself permission to do this you don't wait for someone to push you in that direction but if you have it in your heart if you if you see women riding, going down the street, and you go, oh wow, I wish that was me, stop and think, well, why isn't it you? It could be you. There's, there's no reason it can't be you.